Hey guys, what's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another creature comparison. Time for a game of Hungry Hungry Hippos. Hungry Hungry Hippos. Because this comparison is going to be the common hippopotamus, or hippopotamus amphibious, versus the pygmy hippopotamus. So, let's begin. Twende Kiboko. As always, we start with our similarities. Both the common and pygmy hippo are the only two species in the family Hippopotamidae. The name Hippopotamus comes from two Greek words meaning river horse, though recent studies have actually shown that they're more closely related to whales and dolphins. And both species have razor sharp lower canine teeth that are primarily used as weapons. In fact, a common hippo's lower canines can grow to be as large as a man's arm. And they're the only animals that can open their jaws to a full 180 degree angle. And when hippos yawn, it's usually meant as an intimidation sign. And Male hippos will often use their wide mounts and razor-sharp canine teeth in fights over mating rights. And a hippo's bite can cut a crocodile or human boat in half. Also, both species are herbivores. In the wild, both common and pygmy hippos eat grass, aquatic plants, and fallen fruit. Now, let's talk about the differences. First up is their ranges. Common hippos are found almost throughout sub-Saharan Africa. By contrast, the pygmy hippo is found only in Guinea, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Cote d'Ivoire. In terms of habitat preferences, the common hippo lives on savannas and in wetlands and along river edges. The pygmy hippo, on the other hoof, lives in swamps and rainforests. This one is obviously a no-brainer. The common hippo is much bigger than the pygmy hippo. A fully grown common hippo weighs 653 to 3200 kilograms, or 1,444 to 7,054 pounds is 335 to 564 centimeters or 132 to 222 inches long, including the tail, and stands up to 165 centimeters or 65 inches tall. The pygmy hippo, however, is only half as tall as the common hippo and weighs less than a quarter as much as its cousin. A fully grown pygmy hippo stands about 75 to 100 centimeters, or 2.46 to 3.28 feet high at the shoulder, are 150 to 175 centimeters, or 4.92 to 5.74 feet in length, and weigh 180 to 275 kilograms, or 397 to 606 pounds. Common hippos are also much more sociable. Common hippos tend to live in groups called pods that consist of a single male, several females, and their calves, and they all congregate together in the same water hole or mud pool during the day. Pygmy hippos, on the other hoof, live alone, except for mothers with calves. Common hippos are also semi-aquatic. They spend all day in the water and go on shore at night to feed. And a common hippo can hold its breath underwater for up to five minutes. And they can even sleep underwater using a reflex that allows them to bob up, take a breath, and sink back down without waking up. And common hippo calves are born underwater and they can swim almost as soon after they're born. 
By contrast, pygmy hippos spend almost all of their time on land and spend much less time in the water. And while both species are threatened by habitat loss and poaching, they're threatened to different levels. The common hippo is listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List, and there are currently 115,000 to 130,000 common hippos left in the wild. The pygmy hippo on the other hoof is listed as critically endangered, with only 2,000 to 3,000 left in the wild. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the common hippo and the pygmy hippo. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your requests in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's go back to the safari hat and see what our next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? Okay, let's see. Here we go. Ah! Well, it's going to be time once again to earn our stripes. Alpha Lion Simba.